Orion, God King of Athaloran, Avatar of Kurnos, and the Lord of the Wildwood, finds himself at a meeting of honorable and venerated elder spirits and leaders of the great forests. The air was thick with tension as they loudly discussed the forest's health and the ever contentious topic of the relationship with the outer world. Orion proclaimed that the ancient forest in the mountains of Moor, now being occupied by the necromancer known as Helmen Gorst, was an insult to the sanctity of Athaloran. All present grimly agreed that this haunted forest could not be suffered, and would need to be quickly purged of the undead corruption. Yet there was one topic that divided the council. I Lord Daith and observed that whether through sheer incompetence or malicious negligence, the realms of men and dwarves have allowed the dark powers across the world to fester and grow their might unchallenged. He argued that it was time to act and purge all not directly descended of Assyrian. Durthu, the most honored of the tree spirits, disagreed. He recognized Daith's sentiment and thought the younger races could still be useful to the forest. Yet, the God King of the Woods was tired of words, and so he set forth with a loyal group of hunters to test the mettle of the nearby kingdom of Paravon in battle. Races of order would need to be tested for the right to stand alongside Athaloran in the eternal war against Chaos. Only the strong would survive what was to come. It was time for a new wild hunt to begin. And welcome on in everyone to our Orion campaign. This series is going to be going up twice weekly with the first episode and every week having a cinematic intro to kind of catch you up on what has happened. I am not going to say exactly what days they're going to go up, but it's going to be plan for every Monday and Saturday there for the episodes, or at least every Tuesday and Saturday. We'll figure out we'll figure out a nice schedule, but for now we'll jump right on into this. To start things off, we'll kind of take a look at all of the different faction effects that Orion's going to be using in the Radius campaign, or the Radius Overhaul mod there. So we are obviously going to have the unique Wild Hunt event for Orion being the king of the Wild Hunt. We're going to have minus four upkeep costs for Orion's army for each active war, minus two upkeep costs for all other armies for each active war. Our campaign movement range is going to be plus 50% in the world, uh, the world route stance. We're going to have more ambush chance, more recruit rank for Waystalkers, more speed, more ammunition for all of our armies, more missile strength in fighting against the Beastmen, and then finally, ward save plus 5% during forest battles. He has a lot of effects. Currently, the hunt is on, so the wild hunt is riding, which is going to, uh, I think, double all of the bonuses of our lords and offices. And then drop our cooldown for the Deep Roots teleportion by 10 turns. Increase our campaign movement range by 25% after raising a settlement. More speed for our faction leader, more melee attack, and more charge bonus. So, Ryan is a big, big angry boy to start. Throw our Waystalker on into the army here. Let's take a look at his traits in just a moment. Perfect. And then before we get going too much further, I'll show you all the graphic settings I have and what we're using for this campaign. There you are. So we're going back in. And we will take a look at Orion's faction effects. He has different ones. The King in the Woods here is trait. He's going to have Guardian whenever Ariel is embedded in the army. More weapon strength for all of his cavalry. And then more charge bonus for all of his cavalry. And we'll have more income from raising settlements and more charge bonus for all of our cavalry units. So while I would normally want to claim every settlement on the map and paint the map our color, with Orion we're going to do a lot more burning things to the ground. Ready we will start things serve. off though with a battle against Cassian. Rage of Kardos. Paladin of Bretonia. Cassian has himself a pitiful force of himself, of course. His minute arms with the pull arms. A couple minute arms that are expendable have poor leadership. The peasant bowman with flaming arrows, which how does he think he is? And we have got some Knights of the Realm here, which are actually going to be by far the most dangerous unit. We have ourselves a pretty scary retinue of cavalry, and then we have our own archers to be massacring the enemy with. Let's get to sacrificing these guys for Kurnos. All right then, Cassian Knight of the Weak Rabbits. Let's get this battle started. Deepwood Archers Deep will bring them apart. And we will take a look at our units once we get them in a bit of a formation, but we'll have our Spearmen, which are actually going to be an armor-piercing anti-large unit. Pretty solid. They don't have a lot of armor, and they, they struggle in the late game because of that, but early on, they're incredibly nasty against any would-be cavalry charges. Let's get the, our own cavalry, the Wild Riders, back on behind. We'll have them kind of swarm his cavalry once they are... once they do reveal themselves. Orion... 
put them a little bit closer together so our archers don't get taken out easily. All of our infantry, cavalry, not in guard mode, and then we'll have you two. Looks good to me. Let's take a quick look at the old army here. Got the ever stalwart Eternal Guard. These ones don't have this, the shield, so they just have their very low armor and that armor piercing, which is really, really solid, but that's all they got going for them. Got the big boy himself. He is gigantic, isn't he? Comparatively to a normal elf, that is. What's great is he has this bow here, but even when you put him on uh, missile mode, I think he just there and chucks the spear at him and materializes another one out of nothing. So that, there's always that. The forest fights with us! Either the spear or the bow hitting you at top speed would be the worst. Believe it. We don't have any of the radius units in the army to start. But everyone still looks the incredible on the Wood Elves. They do have going for them. Got Bambi the Murder Deer. And they're green-haired crazies. Yeah, our cavalry is going to be extra, extra beefy because of Orion. So let's get this one going. That'll begin. I'll push everyone forward. Orion, come on in up so you can find their cavalry here. We have no clue where they're at, but let's get some shots on. Where is he hiding? Ah, there they are. Wild Riders off to the side. Let's get the archers firing on the same unit there. Orion, get in there. You guys want to stop and fire at Orion? That'll be your doom. Couple spears chucked in. Oh, there's a couple knights get dropped immediately there. Nice dodge. Coming out of those archers. We'll drop down in some more abilities, though. See how well they get dodging those. Go ahead and stop Cassian. Go ahead and also stop Cassian with your bow. Move in on these fools here. And Orion, if you could jump into melee mode and catch them, that'd be great. Our wild riders can now hunt this group down, put them down pretty much instantly. Take some casualties on the front line, but I think we're doing good. Essence versus Eternal Wardens. That's not how you use a spear, buddy. Hate to tell you. All slow motion battle. Blood flying, mostly the Bretonians lying dead at the moment, though. The cavalry took a nasty bit of damage on that charge, and they are pretty well broken already. We can hit, charge into this next group, bring the cavalry around, because our Colonel Guard with shields are pretty well surrounded there. Going to blanket that group pretty well. The ride's going to charge on in. Yeah, give him the poke. And that is the. Official Ryan sound for giving the stab. It's just a yeah. Get in there, Wild Riders. Route these fools off. Ouch. Wild Stalker, you need to get away from combat. Ryan can go ahead and hunt down Cassie in here. Look at him move. He moves with some intent. You see him missed, you took out Phil. These elves keep messing with Orion, and it's the worst, worst idea. In the background, it is complete chaos. We pretty well got him handled. We just need Orion to get some pokes in on the Lord here and chase him off, and that'll be the victory. Lovely. We are going to continue to hunt down these precious, precious sacrifices, and I will hit you all in a moment. Right, a perfect first win against Cassian there. We only lost a few. 33 soldiers lost the battle. Most of that going to the Eternal Guard, and they were punished that up nicely. Even Orion absorbed those shots from those peasant bowmen quite nice. We will go ahead and we can abduct them and get all of that replenishment back, can't we? Go for killing the captives for a bit of experience for Orion and company. And I actually think for this first, we have our the how they play now. Let me go ahead and read this. The pacify. So what we're going to be up to is we're pacifying regions bordering the worlds of magical forests through raising, occupation, and alliance to improve their health, eventually leading to rituals of rebirth with lasting rewards. 
we will be gaining control of the supremely powerful Ariel following our first ritual of rebirth and wielding her to a devastating effect or devastating power. She's even stronger than Croak, so murderous Lady Tree Croak. We have the Traverse the Deep Roots sparingly to instantly travel between or vast distances between the magical forests or use the World Root stance to avoid obstacles over shorter distances. They have their kind of own underway stance there if they haven't moved. Ride the World Roots at full gallop. It is basically the same thing as the uh, underway though. It's just their own version and they have their own kind of special maps with it. Well, once we do complete our own Ritual of Rebirth at the Oak of, Oak of Ages, we enable the campaign victory. We also use Amber which we will get from Rituals of, Rebir Re of Rebirth to unlock powerful technologies. English. Get ourselves our first follower. That's not a bad one. Extra control. King and in, the in SFO, you do gain two skill points per level up, which is pretty awesome. We're going to go for the Ever-Reaching Tendrils and then the Wonders of the Forest for even more post-battle loot. Up to 30% more. And that'll stack on top of the uh, Raising Settlements buff that we get just for him as well. Pretty, pretty great. Yes. For our Waystalker, we will go ahead and give you the Eye of Kurnos and Arrow of Kurnos for extra uh, damage capabilities. Protector we'll hand out the uh, skill point gain ones once we have conquered Canal. I think what we're going to do is raise Canal to the ground. In SFO, the Bretonians have nasty garrisons, and their forces are quite a bit stronger. Not their original ones that are in the game from base. Ones they've added in are pretty, pretty nasty. They've got lots of extra abilities, armor piercing and stuff like that. So we are going to want to do the one thing Orion needs is extra soldiers. So we're going to basically raise Canal, come on back over to the King's Glade and get recruited on up. And then we'll come on out and deal with Parabon. Our first technology will definitely be Morai Hag the Crone, also known as the Crone. She is the only god. Well, she maybe. The only god in the Elven Pantheon who is neither Kadai or Sitherai get ourselves more control and more campaign line of sight. Eat our carrots. For the hunt. Onward to Canal. Would be a decisive victory if we decided to give this one to the auto resolve, but we absolutely will not. That's boring. We've got a whole bunch more chunky salsa to create. Onward. Okay then, so without any kind of cavalry, they deployed very, very wide. We are going to want to hit one side and one side very, very hard. So let's deploy all of the cavalry on the edge here. Should be able to hide partially in the trees or fully. Oh, not all of them, huh? Not quite. There we go. Now they're all hidden. Cavalry's ready to go. We'll have Orion and his bowmen out front. Off of the side flank here, though. We'll get the spearmen and... We'll have the ones with the shields holding the entire horde back. And so these other guys here just doing some damage where they can. Kind of like so. We'll have our Deepwood scouts hiding back behind here. And blanket those peasants with arrows. Alright, battle begin. Move you guys up. Looks like they're going to probably immediately pull back. Let's pull these cavalry on forward. Orion, go get into melee. You move so fast, you should be able to actually dodge some arrows there on your way in. So, let everyone else do the damage. We can even throw in some arrow of Kurnos. Kind of blast apart those spearmen at arms before Orion gets in there. Their own spearmen moving on forward. Wild Riders, get in there and shut that group down. Anyone who's clumped up around Orion is going to have a real bad day. Mystical, mystical doggos have themselves a nice peasant snack. They're already gone. Smash into those units. Let's pull them back once more here because the archers are coming on in. Pull back. Little Ryan, come on over and deal with this group of peasant bowmen. No one should be able to stop him. Charge on into the peasants there. You guys just stand here in the forest and wait for anyone to try to come on in. Alright, Wild Riders, you got yourselves another very exposed target. Give them the club. These men at arms as well. Keep moving in. Ryan, go straight through. You should be able to move your way in. Let's have these Wild Riders switch targets then to help him break through. 
It's in the peasants flying. That's quite the cavalry charge. Showing these Bretonians what true cavalry is supposed to look like. Yeah. Run them over. Give them the antlers. Like the chair, but much more pokey. We're going to continue to hunt down some of these guys here because I do believe you get more experience on the units for riding down the lads, even though it is a... We're going to do it anyway. We'll catch you in a moment. And yet another victory for Athel Lauren. We only lost six in the conflict and they shall be remembered. We'll go ahead and clear this hearthland for a nice thousand. Give ourselves a hunting hound, ranked up under rank 10. So now we have a better chance of intercepting armies using the underway beast path or world roots. And a forest spirit, awesome. Enemy leadership minus five always is going to be useful. Master of the All right, buddy. So you are in Carcassonne territory. Can you do any raiding? How much gold will we get? Alright, 25, that's just going to make Carcassonne mad, which makes sense. Let's jump into an encampment stance, and then we'll go in through the world routes back towards the King's Glade. What we're going to do is we're going to prioritize military very heavily on the beginning here. Orion does not have enough troops, and we will gain so much post-battle loot from his abilities there that it's going to be make it worth it in the long run. So let's give ourselves a Lord here, kind of the cheapest one we can get. 120, 120. The Glade Lords cost less. Range for the whole army sounds amazing. Talon of Kurnos, welcome. First arrow of uh, battle must fly truest. 15% more range sounds uh, incredible. Making my way. way downtown, bud. We'll give you some archers, and then we're going to do some a bit of upgrading. I want to be able to actually get in some buildings so the game lodge can go up. 50 more income and more growth. More replenisher rate and bundles of fur. Sounds good to me. At your service. Then more archers. These guys will all be added into Orion's force. Orion, ready to serve. Sweet. We're going to grab both of these other wonders of the forest. Uh, skill points there. You have orders? I do not. Not yet. Commandments. We're going to use the Hand of Assyrian in both of these places just to keep things nice and healthy. Get that growth flying up as much as we can. Could I recruit in one of these other... Now nah, they cost about 600 even. That's just fine. You need me? For our diplomacy, though, we can get deals with all three Widrioth, Orgavon, and Arkwylon. So we will definitely go we for it. See our homeland persist through you hold one singular tribute coin, Findle. We'll take it. If you wish. Lord of the Glade. Let's grab Arkwylon then, since they are least likely to actually give us a good deal. You also give me your tribute coin. Thank you, Durthu. What do you, you keep need? doing your battle against the uh, the dwarves up there. Will see our and Dave will give us also a singular tribute coin. Of course. That Warag. makes sense. No other kind of deals we can get to. I'm tempted to I declare am. war on the orcs that are nearby here. Just so we have access to the upkeep. Let's go. Hello, Fey Enchantress. How would you like us to join your war? Future. Against Red Cloud. We probably should have done this earlier on. Yes, yeah, so I'll join your you I'll join your war, you give me money. Naturally. Naturally. Love to hear it. And now we have reduced upkeep. And a bit more gold, which we can use to buy Crowd more bowmen. Look at that. It all works out. And luckily there's lots of other factions around here that we can offer to join their war for some money. Red Cloud's been wiped out, so we lose that extra upkeep reduction. But we do have a world root invasion. Just in time. Yoink. He's going to jump on over. We're going to have you drop all of these archers into the army. All of them. They also double as swordsmen. They just don't have any kind of specialization there. They're very, very uh, vanilla. You, sir, let's grab... I'd love to grab some more spearmen. I also want to get in the Craftsman's Tree for more income and more growth for all of our provinces. It is only one, but that does get upgraded over time. All right, next we'll grab some Spearmen here. Ones with shields. I don't mind only being able to have one. Let's see about adding you into an office. Upkeep for Deepwood Scouts, Wildwood Rangers, and Glade Riders. 
Don't actually have very many Glade Riders at the moment. Upkeep for Cavalry and his army only. Post battle loot in the local region does sound nice. More ammunition in the local province too. Let's go for the Master of Supplies. These are all for his own army here. Sacking and raising. Spirit of the Hunt seems like that is for a tree man. And missile strength. Lots of enemy leadership drops. We can kind of stack those up to make the army almost rout off the bat. Let's add him in as the Master of Supplies to start here. For some more armor and then more post-battle loot in the local region. Then he can be engaged in the battle with these beastmen as well, hopefully. Alright, Orion. Doing well. Who else has a war we can get involved with? The woods of you are at war with nobody. Orgavon also is at war with nobody. Elves. You are at war with the dwarves. How about I offer to join you in that war? Well, hello, Mochi. Come on in and started to shout at me. I'm recording, so you're going to have to chill out. I'm no longer part of the forest. That sounds like heretic words there, Darthu. I'll join your war. And I'll take a trade agreement with you. I have no gold with which to balance that offer. Okay, so we'll just go back to joining, offering to join his war against Karagdorn. And we'll take the gold from him. Let's see if the Dobby want to try something. The Bray Herds are gathering and we shall quickly deal with that. Put these nasty beasts down. Alright, the turn is ours. We have a craftsman's tree as well, so our income's looking pretty nice there. Dodan gained himself one rank. So let's go ahead and give you, since we're about to be in battle, let's go for the not piercing shots with the fleet finger. You can shoot those arrows faster. The more arrows he's launching, the more damage. You buddy, come on over to this area. We are going to do some Got a trespass, isn't it? I will not bow to madness. With Clan Angrid. Oh, what a trap. They already don't like us in our treaties with Carcassonne. I think it seems like we're going to be fighting with them regardless, so. Lord of the Who cares Earth about the trespassing? I go forth. He won't forget it either. My will is yours. Right, Ryan, let's come on in and grab the units from Irikin. Whoa, he just teleported over. Oh, he's in! Oh, he's in World Root Stance! Oh, my fault. Alright, Orion. Please. I cannot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Lord that's definitely not what I meant to do. Okay, well, misclick's gotta happen. We move back into their territory so we can do some uh, recruiting. No. Well, in that case, just to camp up, and you two can work together against the beasts. That's unfortunate. It is my own fault for not looking before we clicked. We'll go ahead and grab this Sculptor's Cavern then. More income is always great. 100 more? Sounds good. Lord of the more trade materials too. The Empire. More likely to actually get trading with some of our tree in. Highborn. That with me. Ryan is shouting like crazy. Enemy force is almost ready to launch its assault. If this is your last chance to interrupt their preparations before the attack. And we so shall. Alright, Ryan, let's get you out of the world root stance. Betray me for the last time there. How can I assist you? Scoot forward a little bit. I don't know if you can actually get involved in this fight. Going forth. Doesn't seem like yes. it. Well, let's jump on in then. Away I go. Oh, there he is. Welcome, Ikarin. Okay, so, so, I mean, this is not a weak force by any means there. They've got some Gore Herd. And then the Tuskor, Tusk Gore Chariots. So those are gonna by far going to be their scariest units here, these Chariots. We'll have Orion and all the Riders go hunt them down, and then we can start working on the Chaos Spawn from there. I think it was an easy victory there, because they failed to spot our ambush, but let's get ourselves a battle. Begin the slaughter. All right, they've got lots of troops here. I just don't think it's gonna matter for them. Completely blanket the arrow in, er in the area in arrows. Put our bowmen in the forest there. Let's grab two of them. Put them up here. Oh, don't be mean. We can definitely put the guys in here in the forest. 
You're lying, Morgan. There we go. Added. A blast right over and into the units there. And I think we'll actually put them in on both sides because this is a much harder area for them to actually retaliate from. Completely surround the area there. We'll put some of the shield guard here. Holding this position down. Be able to spread out and take most of this formation, no problem. Weird terrain, though, even though it doesn't look like it. March right in the center here. We'll have Orion and then the two Deepwood Scouts. Pull these guys back just a little bit there. They should be hidden until the battle really gets going. Get some of the normal Wardens there. Put them in on this side. The normal Eternal Guard can hang out over here. Bring these Glade Guard back a bit. All of our Wild Riders. I thought I grabbed all the Glade Guard. Oh, interesting. Prove it. Alright, missiles. Infantry, cavalry, the boys. Take a fast look at our Glade Guard here. The backbone of our empire. They just, look like, they just look like your typical archers. Typical, uh, basically your typical soldiers in most Lord of the Rings movies as well. They've got the little blade on the side. Not great in combat, but they, they can hold their own. Get it started. Good. And in flies death. In flies death. Alright, buddy, let's go ahead and get you into melee. Go ahead and stop those chariots. In marches, hordes and hordes of them. Beasts ripping through that line there. You guys should all start firing on this first group of gore herd. They're into the gore herd there. Try and do your thing. Cavalry rush on in and defeat these archers as quickly as you can there. Deepwood scouts, let's go ahead and make sure you guys are working on the chaos spawn up front. Charge on in. Colonel Guard on the other side is going to take some damage, but we'll just keep shots flying over the top. You'll let him eliminate them pretty quickly. Those archers are already re retreating on away. Pull the Glade Guard through, or the Wild Riders through. Keep firing those arrows. The Gore Herd is melting away pretty quickly. Where's the beef? All over the ground. You break them. Ryan can still keep handling these chaos spawn, no problem. Oh, the chariots got in behind. That is nightmare scenario. You guys all turn and fire on the chariots there. We're not going to let... Yeah, they need to flee. Take it some damage. Jump into melee. Turtle Guard on the other end, though, holding very firm. Fire on the Glade, the Gore Herd that just filed in. Now we probably need some of these Wild Riders to come on around. I should have left them in until they were done slaying the enemy there. Our Glade, Glade Lord is in. Didn't take too many casualties, thankfully. He only killed four, just a lot of HP damage. All right, they're gone. Ryan, you come on in. That ability goes a very long ways. I'm very happy to see it. Hey, you guys jump on these gore herd here. We will obey. Ready to fire. Make sure you guys eliminate this beast lord. You can just fire through on these guys in the back line. Where are you running off to? It's just Orion. Surely it can't be that bad. They're easily eliminating that group. Let's send the bowmen up. Anyone that goes ahead and replenishes their leadership is going to get immediately slaughtered. There's the victory. We are going to continue to hunt down the beasts. We need plenty of burger patties. I'll catch you all in a moment. A decisive victory indeed. The goats lay absolutely butchered. We only lost 112 in the battle. 
And all that going to the unshielded uh, Eternal Guard there that were in fighting a ton of gore. So they did very well for themselves. We will go ahead and... Ooh, abducting those captives gives us a lot, but... Treasury is what we're looking for right now. Perfect, that victory is going to make Belagor even angrier with us. We gain ourselves another Forest Spirit. And a Hawk Companion. These are dark times. We hand off the Forest Spirit to uh, Dota on there and double down on the leadership drops. Oh, we can. Oh, incredible. Was that minus 10 leadership there? That's exactly what we want to see. All right, then. So since you did gain some more skills there, the Endless Hunters gives us reload time reduction minus 15% for the whole army during forest battles. Yes. And then training. Lord of the Forest. If I can get the Lore of Athalorin mod to work, we could get ourselves, we could summon in magical forests all over the place. Which really is odd that we don't have the uh, Lore of Athalorin already. Let's for Orion continue working on the blue line. It's just so incredible. He's got good skills all over the place. We'll grab the growth of the forest there for control and growth. And grab the open branches for even more growth. And then Orion, come on back in the to the King's Glade here. I am called forth. Anything and here, Kieran. And hang out in defense mode. Starting out. Put you in march all the way into the city. Your orders are acceptable. I hope so. I am the boss. Lord of the Glade. That is how this works. Call the Woods gives us more melee attack. But it doesn't lock them either. That's good. Let's instead start off with his blue line as well. It's blue line here and then growth of the forest. We can kind of triple down on all of the growth we're getting. Get King's Blade Hi, upgraded as fast as we can. That went from five turns to three turns. That's pretty awesome. Go for the Trickster's Gallery there. We won't be able to do any recruiting this turn, but we can get some better units next turn. War Dancers and Azrai Spears, which are going to be very, very useful against the enemies here. So it looks like Carcassonne Claim Canal, with, which works out for me. I think the only Bretonians we are going to allow is going to be the Fan Enchantress. Everyone else has to leave. Oh, I wonder why this one counts as... Positive, and this one's only a... Uh, is because there's no city here yet? That's probably why. We'll need to make friends with Carcassonne quickly then. Let them speak. Yeah, if you have Sivaron attack me, there's no, nothing good going to come of that. Wait for them to start up another war, then we'll join them. Belagar, what if I join your war against the Skaven? I, hammer, I, slay you where you I just think you should relax for a moment and hear what I have to say. How about I join your war against the Broken Nose? Good. Works for me. I can't abide it, but I have no choice. I don't know, buddy. It seems like you're being dramatic. We join your war, we get a young stag. Forest dwellers beware. You get snatched. We have a little bit of gold now. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Well, one more archer. We have a lot of archer units. Let's go for some spears. Make sure we have the entire front line covered. At your service. Hunting down, working our way through Parabon. It's going to be a very difficult fight. We've got a lot of frontline troops, so we're going to want to build up as well. Quick deals we can get to. Almost can trade with Orgwylan. Almost. Steady whoosh, whoosh, whoosh of Orion's spear. All right, Morai Hag has been researched. I think we are going to start working up towards either Vol for more research or for more uh, income. Or Elenil here for Elenil, Lord of Destruction. Extra forest health for winning battles in Magical Forests or their Hearthlands. Probably a good one to grab it sooner rather than later. So we're going to grab Elenil here. Then we're going to move up towards Ladriel there. Help our diplomatic relations with the Bretonians that we don't want to butcher. Namely the Fae Entrantress. She's very nice. I thirst for the hunt. Who are you? Was oh, that the leftovers of the force we just butchered? All right, Orion, you want to get some more kills? I'd rather recruit some more soldiers, I can't lie. They're just going to sit there and start raiding us otherwise. So let's go ahead and put them down. To the hunt. Such is the way, unfortunately. Oh, don't run. It's time to die. I might be putting all he gets to escape just outside of our range. Can you reach them? You need me? Apparently not. I don't need you. We're going to grab some Glade Guard. Three of them, and then some 
Some spears with shields. They're just not not useful without the shields. You called? Two more turns till we have some population growth there. Five for the Oak of Ages. It is time to start gaining up some money. Right, do any encamping. I don't know what this guy's planning. He's probably just going to run away. So it may be a good idea just for us to get back into friendly territory. Go into a sprint. And then we'll let your kind of deal with them if they want to keep hanging around. We'll get Orion back out and working on clearing out the Oak of Ages here. Grimhold is building up a massive force of Dobby Warriors. Durth was out there raiding, though, so hopefully he can break them. If not, we'll move in right behind and secure things. And the turn is again ours. Looks like they came on over just to attack us, so, uh, yeah, Orion will take the win. We're in March stance, though, so we will take probably more casualties than we need to. Let's just see. We took 18. We will go ahead and kill those captives. A bit more experience. Rudigu falls, and that actually should help out the overall... Okay, so Grimhold still is belonging to the enemies in Paragon as well, so we just have negative one. Gotta get this forest healed up. My issue is if we move on Paragon, although they got... Looks like they got broken. What? They did not win the battle, but it looks like he decided not to destroy them. An Lost interesting call. The we'll finish them off. Swift Fingers gives us more magical item... Drop chance. He's a sneaky boy. Even more drop to the upkeep sounds good, but what we're going to do is actually get him more dangerous abilities here. So we're going to go for just the Violent Delights. 735 weapon straight sounds amazing, and we'll jump on through in the world roots. And actually make it. I kind of thought we could. Well, now they're going to be able to recruit up. Be gone. Don't think so. And replenish as well, unfortunately. Or four years of long axes. Lord of the forest. Well, we can't really do any anything about this, unfortunately. All right, Orion, we're gonna come on over to this position. One more turn of replenishing, and we're recruiting up some more soldiers. Keep everyone in the region. That's why we're doing just fine. We just kind of hang out. Yeah, Eternal wardens look awesome. Okay, so these are the guys we want. Probably get rid of these Eternal Guard here. Grab as many as we can there. Got one more turn. How much do we need? 3,500? Keep that in mind. Give ourselves some frontline soldiers. So the shields are armor piercing and the other ones are not. So let's grab some armor piercing. Grab three shieldsmen. We will kick out these Eternal Guard here. By kick out, I mean pass off to Irkin. No reason to remove well trained soldiers. So callously. That'll do. And you can just come on back over to King's Glade. Master of the wild. All right, you've got three armor piercing swordsmen. Let's go ahead and grab. Azrai Ward answers are great too, but let's give yourself just some eternal wardens. All the burly muscle lads. Yes. Alright, we're doing alright. So the army is about to maximum. We can definitely jump on over and deal with the dwarves pretty easily then. Alright. Train with our Wagglin sounds good. He's continuing to talk smack about us, though, not being part of the forest anymore. Better watch your tongue, Durthu. Send in the termites. Okay, so the wild hunt slumbers for five more turns, and that means Orion's not going to be quite as deadly in battle. It doesn't really diminish him that much, though, I can't lie. We just lose a little bit of our overall post-battle loot. Azrae. You're just gonna have to wait. And turn. Alright, now the time it is, I guess it is time rather, to unleash the full might of the forest. We have these excellent new units, the Eternal Wardens and their Shielded Brethren. How many Dawi are left no, here? I will not shame my Most likely just a few with their warriors. Let's bring Orion on in. Do the Y or ride the Wild Roots stance. Jump right into their territory. I was hoping that they would actually intercept us, so now we'll have to see if we can actually. Only one of these guys will be able to recruit up at the same time. At least I'm pretty sure that's how that's going to work. Well, then they only have at least two or three at max recruitment slots, so we can at least be assured that they're not going to be able to get that many troops in. 
If we really need to, we can bring uh, Icarid over is possible. pretty easily. Bring him out of the settlement here. Get him recruiting up some more as well. Icarid, let's grab your encampment stance here. Your orders are acceptable. Perfect. Perhaps we give you some... Well, the War Dancers actually cost a bit more. They are stronger in battle. They have a lot less armor, though. They're more dodgy. Yeah, let's give him some Azrai. War Dancers without the Spears. Just normal War Dancers, and then we'll grab another two Blade Guard. Maximize our military to start here, and then we'll worry about our economy and fixing up the trees. One more turn. Oh, actually, before we do, let's check our diplomacy. Yes. You called? Uh, we're closing in on Madrid. I wind you off. I do would rather not spend any gold to gain any of our uh, deals, so we'll just kind of allow our relations to take on up naturally. All right, the turn is ours, and we can go either way here. Hit the Dawi or go after the orcs down in Grizzle Valley. And they've got Spear Boys. And a whole heap of soldiers defending Grizzle Valley. Stop that. I guess that's the one thing I didn't really check is how many defenders there were in Grimhold, and there are quite a fair few. Ready to serve. That is a bit unfortunate. No time for this. We could get them to come on in as reinforcements. Those are thankfully just halberdiers, they're just long axes. Same kind of dwarf warriors, just with pole arms. I think we could most likely win this one. Let's go ahead and charge on in. We can hit them as they come on in to reinforce. We are much faster than the dwarves. We're going to use that to our advantage here. Go after the smaller army. It'll give us a Pyrrhic victory facing down all of these forces at once. I think we can actually handle it. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our terrain. We'll have to be quite clever. I think we'll just kind of post up over here as I say quite clever. Post up over here, let them all kind of funnel over at once and just fill them full of arrows. Defeat their quarrelers with our Wild Riders and Orion himself. Could be. Well, not, while not simple, should be able to handle it. Let's get to the slaughter. Alright then. Looks like we have some reinforcements coming on in right next to us as well. These are the miners without blasting charges, thankfully. So we can hit this group and then kind of funnel on around. That works for me, so let's go ahead and set up so we can deal with these guys here. We should have uh, no trouble wiping them out pretty quickly. The U2 scoot on up. With you up front to give them a bit more missile damage there. We'll grab all of the Glade Guard. We'll just charge them up front and have them do all the damage they can to start. Use some of that ammunition. We have all of the armor facing damage over here with the Eternal Wardens. We'll use that to our advantage in a wee bit. So the Eternal Guard will set them up. Over on the flank here. Snow is boosting that green to an extreme degree. Set these guys up so I can kind of just push them up into the gulch. Stop anyone from moving through. Have the Eternal Wardens will keep two of them over here. Just in case anyone actually makes it in. I have a doubts, but they may they may try. With the power of art. The boys up over here so they can charge on in and break this other group. Ready for orders! Swords and shields there, the other two on the other side. Should be quick work for them as well. Wild Riders will set them up so they can annihilate any quarrelers. Missile troops. Infantry. Set Orion right up front. And let's get this started. Push forward. You guys as well. Launch in some missiles. Go ahead and launch some of the... Uh, javelins on in let's actually just try to go hunt down that lord if you can for me sir everyone else scoot forward as well scattergun these dwarf warriors you go ahead and deal with the lord if you can push up into this gully here you guys kind of do the same oh they can't actually get any closer 
Fair enough. Move to we're in the forest. They fight quite a bit better in the forest. Move everyone up. Not as far as we can there. To the forest. There we go. Ryan actually not winning this fight. Let's pull him on away for a moment. Yeah, they are quite heavily armored. He doesn't have all that much himself. Drop down some help. Make sure these lads are actually moving forward and we will take them off of guard mode for now. They actually get some shots in. You stand there and chuck stuff at them. Blade guard do the thing. Yeah, we will go ahead and get this one on cooldown as well. Don't know how much damage he's actually going to get in on them, but happy to try it. The huge spear flying on in. All right, charge in on him once more there. Should be able to break him. Oh, they're using him to brace. That's quite clever. First set of reinforcements have arrived. They have to march into us. They have no choice here. Colonel Guard, you go ahead and meet them first. We'll send the others in afterwards. All right, Ryan should be handling that guy quite easily. We are running a bit lower on ammunition, though. Let's have a couple of these guys stop firing. Missiles and take you guys off fire at will just for now. Let's pull on back. And we'll let these lads funnel on in with their armor piercing and break the Dawi from there. Come on, Orion. You need to finish this lead off. Let's pull away and get another charge bonus off. You are quite a bit faster than him. All right, now we send everyone else in. Get that surround off. Break them fully. In March, our brand new soldiers, which we actually haven't gotten to take a quick look at, but they are the Wild Riders, but on foot is basically the model. They look awesome. Dual weapons and sword and shield variant both. We will slow it down and come on over to check out the others while we still can here. While they are fighting. Blade guard funnel on over. And here the lads are. They are, yeah, they're the, they're the wild riders, but on foot. They fight just as well. Get your beards bloody. Right, Ryan, I did not mean to pull you away for that long. Come on back over and break them. But well, we may not need to. These arrows are actually fighting their mark pretty well. Sprint back over. You guys go ahead and take formation in the woods there, so you actually get a bit more combat stats. These Dawi are fighting quite well for themselves. The more of the stronger variant that actually make it into battle, the better they're doing. Let's see if we can break in from the side here. I think there's some weird terrain in the way, though. We'll try. All right, back over on this side, we'll set the Glade Guard up properly. Get two of them in there. Two of them off to the other side there. They actually don't fight badly in combat, so we'll bring them up so they can actually do some damage. Bring these guys around. Love to hear it. Alright, that first lord there should be dead quite soon. Catch them in between an awful Oreo of death. Smoosh. There we go, he's fallen. Bring you around. Right, you guys charge on in. Get them, Wild Riders. They do have a Brace versus Large, but I don't think they count as Braceful or all in melee. Oh, they gotta go around. See how much damage they get. Pretty weak charges. It does what damage it does. Let's pull them on away, though. Alright, Orion, you are starting to launch nonsense at him, correct? 
Love to see it. Let's drop in the wolves. You come on around to this side. They definitely need the help. For the eternal realms. They're fighting well, but they're definitely losing some lads. Love you guys. Come on around and break the enemy archers. When and where you can. You guys shattered them pretty easily as come on up. One of the units come on around here. Orion, drop these guys in on top of the quarrelers that are going to be on the way. Orion. Keep chucking those javelins. Let's go, let's go ahead and pull away from the quarrelers. Lad sprinting on over pretty quickly there. We need all three of you away from combat, please. Yep, these guys are starting to get torn up. Hold back. A lot of quarrelers there. Alright, Orion, your job is to deal with those quarrelers in the back line and go straight past those dwarf warriors. All of our missiles need to be back on fire, Will. That was my bad. Burn fire, you guys keep moving up. You guys should be able to get past now. We will send those guys up to kind of sacrifice themselves, unfortunately, for them. You have become chosen as a fodder. Someone had to do it. Looks like it was going to be you. These guys have them pinned in quite well. They're going nowhere. He took some damage on the way in. We saw that was going to happen. Pushed them through that line. Oh, they went a really strange direction instead of just going down the path there. That's going to get a lot of them killed. That push through the line as best they can, but that's going to get a lot of them killed. I'm good. They're in on the front line. Let's try to launch those shots over the tops and hit the guys in the back line if you can. But they cannot come off to the side bank for me. A lot of wild riders getting taken out. Drop in the hounds, I think. In where everyone's currently fighting would be best. The motorcycles driving by outside this hour. That's the way. Ooh, those poor wild riders. He did break almost all of the quarrelers, though. But it did kind of work out. Drop in the arrows here in this center bulge spot. Launch this into the back line. Hopefully not take out too many of our own. I tried to hit it in this back group, but it didn't, didn't quite work out like that. Oh, not bad. Let's slay several dwarves. Kill him. We're gonna have you guys chase down these two groups. Oh, our poor wild riders are getting just destroyed. Come on, Orion, save the boys. They'll be able to replenish after this because we are going to go ahead and just play Grimhold. Raising the settlements is a very good idea for the, uh, just because it gives you a lot of forest health. But then whoever wants to can come on in and just play the settlement back from you. So it kind of is a double-edged sword. So you want away from the, uh, the fight there so we can charge back in. I just want to make sure none of these quarrelers come back. Keep them ridden down. You're out of arrows. Come on in to combat for me. We've got them completely surrounded, but the spearmen are starting to wear down. Ever so slowly. We have them completely surrounded, though. Now the Dobby do what they do best and fight to the bitter end. See? He said it. And they're they're going to go ahead and break on out of there, but we do need to make sure that we kill as many of them as we can because we we'll to fight one more battle here inside the town. Ryan, come on in and bring down this rune lord here. Stop his magical shenanigans. Little full of arrows. At once, with haste. Want every single one of them to be riddled with fleshing. Kill these quarrelers here. Great weapon ones are the strongest variant, but the wild riders, you can see, just ride them straight down. Sadly, they decided to go straight through the enemy line. There, they survived. More or less. We will consider that a 
Kyrick win there. Miners are breaking kind of across the board. Love to see it. Play as many of them as we can, though. Orion has broken the other Lord. Perfect. Just this absolute Uber Chad. Nope, he's done. Brock Iron pick. More like Bronk Limp pick. All right, what we're going to do is hunt down as many of these guys as we can, as previously said, so we can try to uh, hopefully auto-resolve the settlement battle. I'll catch you all in a moment. A close victory indeed. We only ended up losing 275, though. If I had to do anything a little bit differently, it would have probably just been to pull those soldiers back into the woods so the Wild Riders could charge through a little bit easier without taking all of those casualties, but we did quite all right. Most of the settlement garrison was wiped out. Most of the other defenders were as well, so we'll have to see. We will go ahead and replenish our, our losses, though, by abducting these poor Dawi. Turning them into trees. Welcome, Dawi. Becoming woodified. Lord of the forest. All right, Orion. And what do we have up here? Howl of the Forest, giving us extra melee attack, everyone in 35 meters. Sight beyond sight is the same, but for missile damage. And possessed by the Trickster God is melee defense. That's pretty solid. And then we'll also go ahead and grab Rigor Rigor's melee attack and defense. He's got some amazing, uh, amazing stats here. Armor, and then just health. Let's go for the melee attack and defense. I Helps his chance to be both dodge being hit and hit the enemy. Grab a fleet finger here, sight beyond sight, training. And then. Probably just piercing shots for a little bit more damage. Haven't run out. Well, he did run out of you know, the arrows that last battle there by the end, but we kind of wanted him into combat at that point, so that's no trouble. We will go ahead and claim Grimhold for Orion. Raising it would give us a lot of gold, though. You know what? For now, we will raise it, and we can honestly just kind of rebuild it afterwards, or... Ah, we've got to we've got to occupy it. Otherwise, these uh, orcs will come on right back in, or someone else will come on back in and uh, claim it afterwards. So we'll take this one. We'll grab ourselves another forest spirit there. Give ourselves a dwarven dread. Master of the wild hunt. White. That would have been even easier if we brought our other lord on over to help out, but that is that is the way. All right, so back over to our blue line. I see that we've got some pretty solid ones here. Casualty replenishment upkeep minus nine percent. Okay, oh that's the, that's the maximum. I thought that was the first tier. Yeah, we'll grab a couple uh, drops to our upkeep. We are going to get quite expensive quite quickly with some of these uh really units here. Ray of Aneth Rama cannot move and loses missile resist. Sold. Piercing shots as well. Our archers are becoming quite yes. deadly already. Orion's less about archers and more about uh, cavalry, but we can have a nice spread. I live to serve Our next target is going to be Gristle Valley, even if they aren't technically part of the forest. We do the have to move up and deal with them. Falls. King's Glade, I would like to upgrade you first. Upgrade that into a hollow. The Arbiter's Perch can be turned into a Eternal Watcher's Garrison that just drops our upkeep and gives us a bit more better garrison as well. Kind of, uh, I mean, it's good if we want to keep someone in King's Glade kind of permanently, but other than that, blessing. let's go for the a Craftsman Tree since this gives us growth in all provinces. Is this faction wide or just in? Yeah, all provinces will be faction wide. I argue with myself for a moment. Such is the such is the way. I need to do want to grab a guard platform because we get some glade guard and some more riders. That's a pretty solid defensive building there. King in the woods. We'll unlock the ROR units before too long. Onward to Gristle Valley. Glade Lord. Ikarin, I would like you to get some more soldiers, so let's grab some war dancers with spears. Although we kind of have plenty. I don't want to get rid of these regular old eternal guard. Not worth having anymore. We need guys with shields at the very least. Let's grab some of those. We'll have three of them as the main core. Then the war dancers can be the flanks. You called? I did not. You mind your business. All 
right, looks like the Broken Nose Tribe has come on over to try to face us. That is a whole heap of green skins, and if we took it to the auto-resolve, we would lose the garrison. That's actually fine by me. We'll go ahead and give this one to the auto-resolve, and uh, move on through. Yeah, just the garrison lost soldiers, no one else. That's no problem. We'll go ahead and abduct these captives as well for the extra replenishment. A traitor stands before what? me. Speak, traitor. W what now? Even traitors could have their uses. We should talk. What is going on here? Some uh, secret hate between Orion and uh, Daith? Uh, well, he wants to trade, so even though we're throwing some sassy, spicy words around, we'll go ahead and uh, make some money. A quest has been issued. Oh, has it? Lord. A great adventure beckons. Beware. Right, hush up, discount Dumbledore. Dark news reaches the court of Athel Lauren. Shadows loom on the outskirts of the forest, and the waystone is their fence is threatened. Reports reach the king that a herd of beastmen slipped through the perimeter and defiled another waystone before it slinking back into the undergrove. Orion and his scouts detect the foul and pestilent aura of dark magic at the site of the beastmen raid. An aura that can only belong to one beastman that Orion knows of, Morgur. Rallying the Wood Elves to his side, he pushes onwards to find the enemy and sate his bloodlust. As the Elves edge forward, the path closes in around them, and the moment of battle draws near. Enemy forces would be his cloven black horn and his boys. Could be no problem at all. Definitely reinforcements of a Morgur expected, so we'll go ahead and get to that in a moment. Ready for now to unlock the Winter Heart Guard. Noble sons from the high realms of Athalorin practice the art of war with obsession. Really like to fight. Oh, there's also a uh, forest encounter about to jump in. You're going to have to trespass on Findle once more here. Access to the halls of Athalorin. You can trade. Findle, you need to let us uh, you need to let us pass in your part of the forest there, buddy. What being Wise so... Indeed. Reached an accord with those we once counted as brothers, so everyone counts each other as a traitor, huh? Weird. I shall have to look into that. Ready to sword! Yes. Salt Spite is uh, ready to fight. Fair enough. Whispers in the woods. Those are up here in the north here. That should be no problem. Cassian. Oh, we actually haven't. We haven't done any. Uh... I, think we've done any yet. I thought I thought we had just Actual barely service. passed through their territory on accident. Looks like no, we got lucky. So going into the Oak of Ages, though. So I'd like to go past here and up to defend. I'm going to jump into an ambush out front. Cassian can hear and nowhere else. Is there a way to get to the Oak of Ages where we don't have to trespass? Hello? What? what? We own the forest. Are we not the king of Athelorin? Very well. You'll have to deal with us trespassing. There's nothing you can do about it. We are the boss. The forest has spoken. Stay right in there and hopefully Cassian runs straight into it. Death. No! We'll find out, won't we, buddy? Be too overconfident. I Ryan. I want to see here for two turns. We may just have to grab those Winterheart Guard. We get three of them. Fair enough. We'll grab one for now. These guys have an armor piercing and Modus vs. Large. What's different about them compared to the others? Just better stats. And a charge of defense versus all. Okay. Better stats, they're unbreakable, and they have the encourage ability. So they're not they're not bad at all. The hunter! Orion. I was about to talk all the smack, but changed her mind there. Grab the last point into Quartermaster. We'll grab... Can't snag the other. How We can only go up to 50% extra replenishment rate. What are we at now? Oh, zero extra. That works. Replenishment, and then home amongst the bows. Up to that drop in research. Or, uh, drop in upkeep, rather. More campaign movement, and then the other items that are, uh, are what they are. Also, we'll go for the two points into Growth of the Forest here. Finish off this one, and then we can start working on his overall damage. My will is yours. No, Don. We want you to have piercing shots, and then to be very fast. That would be great. Those Lord two things would make forest. me smile. All right, now, Ryan. Could bring him up to attack Grizzle Valley. I kind of want to well, at least come on out. We'll go into an encamp stance. And we shall sit in between the Gristle Valley 
and the other. But for now, I am going to be out of time for today. I have been at Space Wizard Total War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub zone, and I will see you all in the next one.